Welcome Climate Viewers, this is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It's October 11th, 2020, and we're going to talk about some climate engineering and weather modification news for the past couple weeks. Hope you're all tuned out of the news because it couldn't get any crazier. So the weather continues and so shall we. So we're going to jump right into the articles. I hope that you guys will drop a like, comment, subscribe, um, and I appreciate everybody tuning in. First up we have on fizz.org, climate engineering should not be considered a public good. New research shows October 31st. Now this should be an obvious one, um, but apparently it's not for a lot of people. Um, most people don't even know what climate engineering or geoengineering is. And I hope that you guys will read the articles. I'm not going to go through and break down these articles because I want to kind of keep these short and we got a lot to get through. So. Without attention, geoengineering could upend foreign policy. Now, there's this big debate about what if one country decides to do geoengineering and modify the global climate? And what if, you know, other countries don't want that temperature? Uh, let's say China wants it colder than, say, Canada, because it's already cold there and they don't want it that cold. Um, could lead to some serious problems. And in uh, past articles, even nuclear war. Uh, on PNAS, solar geoengineering may lead to excessive cooling and high strategic uncertainty. Again, you know, um, if you've seen Snowpiercer, uh, that didn't work out too well. The entire world ended up in an ice age um, and also could end up in nuclear war. Pretty bad stuff. Um, but nonetheless, David Keith, everybody's favorite boogeyman, um, on October 27th, uh, will be having a Zoom seminar. If you guys want to get in on that, all the links will be in a comment pinned under this video. So you'll be able to find this. Um, Colloquium David Keith, a case for integrating solar geoengineering into climate policy. So despite all of the reasons, the... 27 reasons laid out um, by uh, Alan Robach for why geoengineering is a bad idea. That's not going to stop uh, our friend David Keith from, you know, rock and rolling on this thing and trying to make it a thing. Regardless, uh, tune in for that. Governing solar radiation modification. Um, there's a new term for you. But anyway, solar radiation modification. They're always coming up with new words, but the, you know, the key word here is, of course, geoengineering. Um, solar geoengineering, as they like to call it. Uh, stratospheric aerosol injection, whatever you want to call it, it is creating artificial volcanoes in the sky using chemicals to block sunlight and therefore control global temperature, which will also their, uh, control global rainfall. Bad idea monumentally bad idea must be stopped at all costs that's why i'm doing it because i have two daughters and they don't want to grow up in a geoengineered world even my five-year-old gets this um fizz.org again revamped mit climate portal aims to inform and empower the public um i call bs on this i wrote an article on the mit uh climate website and of course they it was the number one most viewed, most shared article on their entire website, and they deleted it, along with a good friend of mine who is a alumni of MIT. All of his articles were deleted from there. So they don't actually want the truth on there. They want their version of the truth. Um, screw you, MIT. Um, this is from ESSOAR, Earth and Space. Uh, what is this earth and space science open archive reduced poleward transport due to stratospheric heating under strate stratospheric aerosols geoengineering and it talks about a way that maybe they could you know cool the planet and you know just mainly do that over the poles speaking of the poles scientists want us to use glass to stop melting arctic ice um, and in here, this is the Arctic Ice Project, and they want to use silicon dioxide balls, spread them all over the North Pole, and apparently reflect uh, light back into space. But 
I don't know about you, but if I had a glass ball, I could melt things with it. Uh, as a Boy Scout, we did this regularly with magnifying glasses. So I can't imagine a way to uh, put shiny, tiny balls all over the North Pole and not melt more ice than you do good. Um, let alone the fact that it's all going to end up in the ocean and absorbed by you know all of the phytoplankton and other things. Um, that are going to eat this bioaccumulation issues. There's a lot there. Um, but if you thought that was crazy, it gets even crazier. MIT, again, asbestos could be a powerful weapon against climate change. You read that right. Scientists are exploring ways to use mineral waste from mines to pull huge amounts of carbon dioxide out of the air. I'm going to go ahead and say that's a monumentally bad idea, but let's just move on. Um, on to cloud seeding news. Uh, permit renewal sought for Grand Mesa cloud seeding. Um, this is in Colorado Water Conservation uh, District. And Western Weather Consultants is seeking a renewal of the program for Vail Corpse Ski Areas and Vail and Beaver Creek. Um, if you haven't been to climateviewer.org, climateviewer 3D, you can actually see that here. Um, this is the area in question in Colorado. Uh, it's right here in the center of the United States. For those who aren't very good with their states, um, don't really know the map. But this is the area in question, and this is the actual map directly from the guys doing it. And that's where I pulled these sites from. These are ground-based cloud seeding generators. Um, and they basically fire silver iodide into orographic clouds or clouds that form over mountains. This is called snowpack augmentation. So right now their permit is up for renewal and they're working on that. Uh, Penang's Taluk Bahang Dam capacity remains low despite rainy season. However, eight of the 16 cloud seeding operations were put on hold since July due to a technical issue. Apparently, the cl cloud seeding contractor recommend, were recommended by Met Malaysia's AF Jets had not received the flares needed for, for cloud seeding from another uh, contractor. As such, all cloud seeding operations for the Penang in August and September were postponed. Um, once again, you know, uh, I can't find uh, some Elgato stream lights um, because of the COVID crisis. Um, and similarly, apparently, uh, these guys in Malaysia can't get cloud seeding flares because just people aren't you know, building enough stuff, I guess. Um, and then finally, we're going to move on to the last two here. Iran IRGC using RQ-170 drones to seed clouds. Now, most of you probably have not heard about the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps um, actually hacking a top secret stealth drone um, that America was flying over. It. They, they hacked into the controllers that were actually um, flying the drone. They stole it and they're using it to seed clouds. Uh, it just doesn't get any more ironic than that. Um, and then finally, uh, CW expert interview Chandra Lake on breathable magic sand. A group CEO at Dake Group talks about construction materials that can enhance rainwater harvesting. Um, it's all about that water, and uh, that's that's the the news of the day. Um, so there's a lot going on. I'll try to make more videos like this. I'd like to keep them as short as possible. Um, I will provide you the links and the details for those who actually have the wherewithal to go through and read them. Um, quick update on my health for those who are wondering. Um, you know, of course, I'm going through uh, a bout with my Graves' disease, my hyperthyroidism. I had dropped my weight down to 127 pounds from 160. And um, I've received thousands of emails, messages um, about people praying for me and obviously people donating. I greatly appreciate all that. I'd like to give you an update saying that I am now at 140 pounds. So I've gained 13 pounds. Things are going well. Um, I'm not going to be able to sustain this with just medication alone. I do still have a surgery 
in the works planned coming up so if you guys will keep praying for me um on the 19th i go see my endocrinologist i'll find out more about it then they're going to re um, review my blood draw and when my thyroid level stabilize that's when we're going to go ahead with the surgery so if you guys um would like to continue to support that please remember uh you can donate at paypal.me slash climate viewer um if you'd like to become a patreon and donate monthly i'd greatly appreciate that as well and the GoFundMe, GoFundMe page may or may not be there. I'm not exactly sure because they just deleted every GoFundMe on the website and then recreated them. Um, so I'll have to check that. I didn't even check it before the video. But regardless, um, please, you know, like this video if you found any informative value. Leave me a comment on how silly um, some of these, uh, you know, climate engineering ideas are. What, you know, what, what your takeaway is. And uh, remember to subscribe um, and hit that bell with the notification button um, so you do get notified. And I don't know about you, but me personally, uh, about a month, a month to a month and a half ago, all emails from YouTube quit. So I'm no longer receiving any email updates on videos, even with the bell turned on. You have to actually go into the app or go to the website to get your notifications. So let me know if you're having that same problem, if you've noticed that, or if it's just me. Um, but regardless, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Love you, mean it. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember... It would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.